Hi. How are ya? I'm gonna go ahead and, of course, wait a few minutes for people to come into the room. So let me go ahead and um, start off by saying, as people start coming into the room, I will be doing taroscope readings in just a bit. I am slowly but surely working on your monthlies for YouTube, and I have a shit ton of things lined up for YouTube. So, of course, I always go live on Thursday to do love taroscope readings for all astrology signs, and I also do unboxings of, of like tarot, oracle information decks, all that kind of fun stuff. So, of course, um, you can go to my page. I have them all linked up to all that shit. So first I have food fortunes. So this is for like, you don't know like what's for dinner. You can't make a decision. Bam, this helps you. These tarot cards help make a decision on what you would like to eat for dinner. These are oracle cards. I went into um, my local uh, spiritual shop and um, like in this like old town district area, you know, and um, I've been there for many years since a child. And, um, you know, it's like one of those places where, you know, everything it's like, it's narrow. It's like a winding like labyrinth, you know, because there's so much shit, you know. But anyways, um, this Oracle deck caught my eye, the Notre Dame one. And like the backing on it looks super cool, right? So I figured, what the fuck? This deck I saw on Instagram. Uh, I can't remember if somebody referred this deck to me. I can't remember to be honest with you. And if, you know, whoever referred it to me, you know, please let me know. I'll give you that shout out, of course. Um, <clears throat> you know, just you know, like make a comment or whatever. Anyways, um, but I got the Arcane Bullshit deck. This is like a big box. This, it came in like, the packaging is pretty cool. Like it's in this huge box. It's like a very nice sturdy box. Um, like a game card, oh, we'll open that later. And then it came with a warning label which is a very important morals heating. This warning, do not gaze directly upon this arcane bullshit. Open the box slowly, but with your medium vigor, do not put arcane bullshit near your hair. Never use with a sword to open box, but always have your sword ready. Try not to think about bagels, earth, infinite shatter shards, or meat for 30 days prior to opening. After opening, let the deck recline at a 45 angle for 20, 25 minutes. Well, it replenishes is Vim. Low Vim may produce actual cramps. Okay, and then this card, I fucking love it. This is so Bateman of me, of uh, American Psycho, but look at like the lettering, like it has like a very nice print. It's very, I'm just very impressed with it. And it's of the back of this deck. And it's just like arcanebullshit.com. And with the sticker, of course. So I'm super impressed. So, of course, I will be doing an unboxing of that as well. Okay. Let me take a sip of my water. It's sparkling water. This particular thing is garbage, but, you know, I'll have to do. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Sorry. My fat ass, I just wanted to make sure that nobody would die. Okay, or I wouldn't die. Yeah, okay. So, um, okay, what else? I'm gonna go ahead and start diving into this. Just adjusting my lighting and all that fun shit. Okay. Alrighty then. So we'll see how this goes. I'm starting to feel okay sitting and it may not be okay. Okay. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with what I normally do is earth sign. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Two more. Okay, and one more. Okay. Bottom of the deck, I have the Queen of Swords reverse. You don't have time for this shit. Not dealing with the shit at all, whatsoever. It's just, I'm done, Becky. I'm so done with your shit. It's just a no bullshit tolerance. Right. Oh, and stupid off note, I got this at the crystals, at the, my uh, spiritual shop, and another one of these. So, yes, yes, yes. My friend was like, do you really need one of those? Don't you have another one? I was like, first of all, you don't know shit. Second of all, <laughs> I need that. So anyways, so we're going to go ahead and get into this. So Capricorn. Okay, those are a little bit too many. I'm going to make sure that everybody has their turn. Thank you. Okay. Taurus. that Tauruses really like my reading. I was not expecting that, that they really do. This way, like, it's kind of funny. I was not thinking that. Okay, and Virgo. Marvelous, just marvelous. The bottom of the deck I have, it is the Seven of Cups reverse. You're no longer confused. You know exactly what you want. You're tired of excuses. You're tired of being pulled in different directions. It's been feeling very unsure of yourself. It, it kind of feels like at the point, it's like, what the fuck? Like, am I, what am I doing with, what's the purpose? What's, what's the point of this? You know, um, I do all this shit for what? For what? Um, and this is just regaining yourself and having, once you are crystal clear, that's when you cut shit out. Okay. 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 So Capricorn, I have. The Empress card reverse, I have the Six of Cups reverse, and I have the Five of Swords reverse. Okay. Now, this could be interpreted several ways. This could be the mother of your children, or, you know, the father of your children, whatever. Um, you don't look at them in a positive light anymore. And it could be numerous things, you know. And I feel like they've let you down the most is disappointment. Um, the one thing I will say that men cannot stand to hear, I will say this, is that they hate to say, like, I'm so disappointed in you. Like, it's just utter disappointment and this is strong like you don't feel connected with the universe you used to be so ground grounded so like so sure of yourself and like the direction you're going with and like i am more i'm like i'm getting more comfortable in myself and i'm 
you know, I'm cleaning myself like physically, mentally, spiritually, you know, with lots of things from like diet to exercise to changing bad habits, um, personal growth, name it, you got it, right? So there is some sort of blockage here, okay? And this is pertaining to an ex. Could be, I'm saying, you may have children with this person. You may be looking back at those old times and realizing some of the mistakes you've made, you know, realizing your wrongdoings. Okay. That was kind of deep, Capricorn. Okay, Taurus. I've got the judgment card here. I've got the king of cups and I've got the queen of wands. Interesting. So we got two queens here. Okay. So this could be pertaining to dealing with uh, more than one woman. This does not have to be romantic. This could be pertaining to a work situation or it could be dealing with two people that are dominant. This could also pertaining to like platonic relationships like mother and aunt you know sisters cousins whatever the fuck could be partnership this could be a lesbian relationship hi mama oh shit hi mama oh good boy mama okay he's playing hard to get right now and i cannot do that anymore okay so we do have two queens here for you taurus This could be pertaining to somebody that you've blocked. You could be dealing with the Gemini, a Libra. This is no longer being confused. There was a fight previously. This is from the bottom of the deck. This was pertaining to expressing emotion and love. And this person not getting their way, right? Okay. So the judgment here, this is you are rebranding yourself. This is creating a more authentic version of you. Now, you, for a small percentage of you, you may have children with this individual. This could be like a union relationship or about to become a union relationship or coming back again. This is surviving. This is having like an almost near death experience, you know, and it's just like, I have a second chance in life. This is you having your own spiritual awakening. I'm seeing like a mother figure, you know, like a mother or an aunt. It could be a sister too. Somebody that may have passed on that is guiding you to what your heart truly desires. And they're telling you it's okay. It's okay. You're having this epiphany, this aha moment. You are realizing that you need to express your love here. You are trying to gain control now. And now you're going all in Jerry Maguire style because you see your queen. You see the queen of wands here. This bitch knows exactly what she wants. You could be dealing with a water sign. You could be dealing with a fire sign. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with a Leo. I'm also seeing Scorpio here too. Okay, and Gemini, Libra. This is life after death. This is showing appreciation. This is you stepping up, realizing that, you know what? I need to stop this communication. I need to stop this bullshit. Express yourself, right? Okay. And Virgo. 
So Virgo, I got the nine of swords. I've got the four of pentacles reverse and I've got the seven of pentacles reverse. Okay. So we got two sevens here. So this is about change. Okay, here's the thing. You know that you've cut out a lot of shit. A lot of things that don't serve your life. This could be in a lot of aspects. This could be relationships. This could be the people that you hang out with. Um, could be like a focus on a different career path, a certain direction. This could even just be like cutting things out that don't serve you from like changing your diet, whatever it is. You've been cutting a whole bunch of shit out, which is awesome. Things that don't serve you. You have a better idea of like what your eyes is on the prize, right? But with the nine of swords, you're worried. This is keeping you up and you're wondering what's the fucking point of this, right? You're having these fucked up visions. It's like you can't even make sense of it half the time. You're like, what the fuck? is this shit it's goddamn gemini vibe right i think there's gonna be like a gemini moon soon i don't know but anyways but this is some bullshit that you're experiencing here it's just been leave this been stressing you the fuck out and you're just wondering like is this shit even fucking worth it with the four of pentacles you're gonna finally let go no longer going to be insecure. With the seven of pentacles here, there's two sevens here. This is about change. So you, for whatever reason, you want to kind of rush this because it's like, I'm tired of waiting. I'm moving forward now. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and do air signs. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay. I'm seeing some good cards for you guys. Okay. So, at the bottom of the deck, I have... It is the Justice card reverse. I did see that. Libra vibe here. This is making an emotional decision instead of thinking logically. This could be some bad karma, some bad shit coming your way. Could be whatever, if there's some sort of legal thing, it may not be in your favor. There could be some sort of delay. Some sort of decision has been made. This could be an ending of a relationship. I do see a Gemini and Libra on the bottom of the deck here, of course reversed so for some it could be an ending of a relationship ending of a contract ending of an agreement a partnership a sponsorship has ended like we're taking you to court somebody is going to jail somebody may have been arrested let's go ahead and dive deeper so libra Gemini, Gemini. It's a good reading, Libra. That's why I'm smiling. 
Come on, Gemini. There's some eating. And Scorpio. I mean, Scorpio, excuse me. Aquarius. The universe knew what I was talking about. It's Aquarius. Bottom of the deck I have, it is the Page of Wands here. This is bucket awesome. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and flat out say that. This is freaking awesome. So first of all, mm-hmm, okay. So, with the Page of Wands here, this is, and on bottom from that, is another page. Perfect. So good news. All right. So this is going to be like hanging out. This is like hanging out in social activities, sports event. This is like going out and about, um, doing something fun. Um, maybe you go to somewhere like you, something that you're kind of interested in. You go out with some friends, you know, and you're some sort of decision. Somebody's flirting with you and they get your phone number, right? They want to take you out for coffee. They ask you, you know, there is some sort of offer. This could be a business partnership um, where you're able to express yourself. Okay. But this is a very nice energy. Okay. So. Libra. I've got the hangman here. The three of swords reverse. And I've got... The judgment. Oh, excuse me. The death card. Sorry. My back. Anyways. With this Pisces card here with the hangman, this is really wanting to take your time on making a decision. You don't want to jump into this. Um, you know, you kind of... You try to be logical with things and your emotions are kind of there, you know, but you're trying to refrain yourself because you want to make sure that um, when you do put, you know, when you do go all in, you know, show your cards and put your, um, put your coins in the middle of the table. You want to make sure that you have all the information you need. So now with the three of swords reverse, you're over this heartache. It took you some time to get over this heartache. And now with the death card here, with the Scorpio vibe, this is you transcending, this is you transforming like you were this cocoon, now you're a butterfly, ugly duckling turned to a magical swan. It's just that you're shedding yourself, you're rebranding. This is you moving forward to a different direction. Some of you may be relocating, maybe pursuing a new job. But you're deciding to move forward into this because this feels good you know, this feels good. This is different, but it feels good, you know? And you've made a decision here, Libra. So, good job. Gemini! All right, Gemini. So I've got the world card here. I've got the three of cups, and I've got the temperance card. Booyah, bitches. Okay, so congrat, congratulations. You are the top queen tonight. Sorry. Um, you basically completed your task. You won RuPaul's World, like, Drag Race. I'm sorry, I've been watching RuPaul, of course. Um, you, whatever baggage you've been dealing with, you've been going through this spiritual awakening. And it's been awkward. It's been weird. It feels like middle school. Very cringy, you know, but you've made it through. that part of you is no longer you, right? And now you're celebrating. You're going out now, hanging out with friends, 
starting to go out and do some things like you would normally not do. You know, not saying that you're a completely different person, but you're finally coming out of your shell. Seeing some Aquarius vibe here. I'm also seeing Pisces. I'm also seeing Cancer. And with the Sagittarius card here with Temperance, you have shedded your old self and now you're becoming more comfortable. You're coming, you're coming out of your shell and now it's like springtime. So of course there's more like social settings, you know, where you're hanging out with friends and families, you know, and there's holidays and spring break and all that fun hoopla. But as you are proud of yourself because you made the decision and you've cut the shit through, you've learned to love and value yourself. You've listened to the universe and it's spoken to you and you're connected. You're no longer that old you that was very insecure, you know, that didn't know who they were. You made a decision and cut that bullshit out. You could be dealing with a Libra as well. But there is some good news with money, with love. It's good. Okay, and Aquarius. Okay, you got one extra card. Okay, Aquarius. So I've got the three uh, pentacles reverse. I've got the wheel of fortune here. I've got the judgment card reverse and I've got the six of swords here. Well, well, well. Um, so Aquarius, some of you are going through a divorce. Your divorce has been finalized. Fuck that asshole, fuck that bitch, whomever they are, right? Um, for some of you, if it maybe pertains to a three party situation, it could be a work fling, whatever it is, that work fling, um, that small little, you may have been work, flirting with somebody at work, been dealing with somebody at work. Um, you know, that union, it's like it's cut off. Um, for some of you, I'm seeing, okay, I'm gonna say this for a very small percentage of you. I don't know why I'm getting this. I'm getting, I don't know why. Okay, quick, well, I, okay, I, okay. Cause how some of the cards that I have, like the judgment card reverse and the, um, uh, sorry, justice card reverse. Okay, so I'll, let me go into this. I'm saying for a small percentage of you, um, you could be in a relationship with a partner where you have children and one or two of your kids, it may be a boy. Um, they may be both boys, I don't know why. Um, one of them may not be yours. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and point that out there and hold on. Okay. Alrighty then, okay. Sorry, I'm starting to get hot, okay. So for a small percentage of you, your partner could be cheating and you're finding out that you may not be the father of um, one or two of your children, okay? So this union has ended, okay? And it could be like unemployment, it could be like losing a contract. You know, you're an independent contractor and you lost the deal, um, you lost, um, the contract has ended. This is moving forward with the Wheel of Fortune here. This is good karma, good fortune coming your way. As you are ending this relationship, this union with this individual, you've learned some valuable lessons. You've held your head up high and because of it, you know, you've transcended. Really good luck is coming your way in the next three to six months, okay? Things are gonna be looking up for Millhouse here. The judgment card here, as things are looking up for you, a decision definitely has been made, right? This is ending of a relationship, that divorce, fuck you, that court, you may have lost a court battle. You may have lost custody of the children.
And with the Six of Swords here, you're moving forward. Some of you are actually relocating. It could be re relocating for employment, but part of it is just like get another identity. It's moving on from this heartache. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do water signs. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm not gonna grab my water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So I've got the bottom of the deck here. It is the Seven of Cups reverse. You made a goddamn decision. You're no longer foggy. You know what's up. There was a lot of options and choices. You have your eye on a prize. You know which is which. Some of you may be cutting back on your alcohol intake or whatever your addiction or whatever you're obsessing with. Okay. Could be ending of a relationship, okay? Like a part you or your partner cheating on you. Okay. So, Cancer. Pisces. too many cards. So at the bottom of the deck I have, it is the, I think, Earth signs have this, like, kind of reversal, though. Okay. It is the Queen of Swords reverse. So this is cutting out bullshit, things that no longer serve you. It's just you're trimming a fat. You're tired of being played. Homie, don't play that. I don't think so. So I've got, for Cancer, I've got the Chariot card reverse, I've got the Ten of Pentacles, and I've got the Age of Wands here. So first of all, this is your card, you're not feeling yourself. You really wanna relocate, move out from where you are, you feel stuck, you feel bounded. It's like, um, it's kind of like uh, your Noah's Ark, you know, you're Noah and you're trying to lead all these animals and now like you're stuck, you have to call an Uber, you know. There's a lot um, of visions, a lot of things that the universe is trying to communicate with you. This is you not getting this is like you feeling like a loser I mean you real this is like a lot of self-loathing that I'm seeing here
with the Ten of Pentacles and the Page of Wands here, I don't really look at this as really terrible. You know? Now, for some, uh, for some of you, I'm seeing is that you may, you feel stuck, you can't get out of a marriage, you know, because you may have children with this individual. But for others of you, I'm seeing that right now is not the time to move forward in something, right? Um, you're really happy with your partner. This person is loyal, like this person does not cheat. This person's loyal. You want loyalty, you want love, you want acceptance. I'm seeing some passion coming back, some flirting this, you know. The chemistry's there. Pisces, so I've got the five of pentacles, I've got the star card reversed, and I've got the temperance card reversed. So, feeling sorry for yourself this is what this is okay jesus fucking christ pisces okay this is you being a punk ass bitch this entire reading you look like a fucking crybaby bitch right you a punk ass bitch mamo mamo get down now hold on I know what you're trying to do. Okay. Yeah. You know you're not supposed to do that. Sorry. He got mad because he almost got busted. Okay, so you know when Mamo interrupts, you know that's a good reading, right? So I'm gonna be keeping it for real, real, not for play, play. And please remember this, Pisces, this is tough love, all right? Pisces, if this does not resonate with you, good for you but you know if this reading resonates with you will know if this reading resonates with you okay so i'm gonna make this motherfucking clear okay you are acting like a cry baby bitch here this is you feeling so fucking sorry for yourself this is you wanting a fucking pity party right after you decided to overindulge in stupid bullshit with people that are extremely toxic, environments that are not good for you, surrounding yourself around things that are not the best of your interests that makes you compulsive or obsessive or addicted to things, right? Um, now, after you fucked up so many times and now you're finally like getting clean, cutting that shit out, now you want fucking sympathy, right? Now you want fucking sympathy. It's like you completely hate yourself. You feel like a like you feel like a fucking loser. You look fucking pathetic. You look pathetic. Like you put yourself in this situation here. And believe me, I will be giving shit to every sign, including my own sign. Believe me, I am not nice to I do not give special treatments to any fucking sign. You are acting like a cry baby bitch. You need to hear this tough love. You look like an asshole, right? You look like a total asshole here. Like you're fishing for compliments. Like, I'm so ugly. You know, that's like what you call up your friends. You're like, I'm so ugly. And you want them to be like, no, you're not. You're so beautiful. You've got gray hair and I love your skin like you know your fish this is like god damn it you look so fucking weak you don't even see the bigger picture here it's like you like you wonder how come things don't go your way because you always do the same fucking shit over and over and over again and mama is freaking out okay so Scorpio. So I've got 
the page of pentacles. I've got the three of swords reverse and I've got the world card here. Okay. So some of you have made a decision on moving forward. You accepted a school. You've decided you've got, you got several acceptance letters, you know, acceptance letters to a college or to a university, or maybe get to a thir certain program like in theater or arts. Um, this could be like working as an intern, working hands on one-on-one -on -one with an individual or with a group and organization that could help move you up um, career-wise up the corporate ladder. Um, it could be even like a food blogger too. I don't know why I'm picking that up, but um, there is an offer. I'm seeing for mainly is for employment. For some of you, this could be a date. Somebody is asking for your phone number, you know, and you're no longer heartbroken, you know. And with the world card, you've gotten over this shit really fucking quickly. Like once you cut that shit out, you're like, bye bye. Like you got over that heartbreak really fucking quickly. And Mamo is freaking the fuck out. Mamo son, Mamo son. Okay. And now we're gonna go ahead and do fire signs. Fire signs, fire signs, fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. One more Aries Leo Sagittarius for my motherfucking fire signs. Okay, let's get to the shit, bitch. Okay, so bottom of the deck I have it is the chariot card reverse, Cancer vibe. All right, you may have not gotten the acceptance letter to that position, to that job. You may be trying to relocate now as a standstill. You've been trying to move forward into a particular direction. It is not going your way. Aries, that was very fucking direct. Leo. Okay, and Sagittarius. Okay, bottom of the deck I have, it is the seven of pentacles reverse. So you decide to no longer be patient. You're grabbing life by the balls. You are finally stepping up with the emperor card here for the bottom of the deck. Man up. You've got to man up, right? You're manning up because you are feeling sorry for yourself like a fuck pity party, right? All right, so Aries. I've got the Devil card reverse, I've got the Five of Cups reverse, and I've got the Hermit card reverse. This is fucking awesome. So you are finally removing yourself that's something that you are bound to. This does not have to be a relationship. This could be that you're bound to work. Um, you're bound um, to a tedious work schedule. This could be with school. Um, something that you were obsessing over. This does not have to be addicting, right? Um, like for an example, if you, um, you know, like you're, um, you're like you're a gamer, you know, and you do a lot of live streams like on Twitch or whatever. Like I'm just using that as an example, you know, and you're just, um, in order for you to get that endorsement, in order for you um, to have like more followers and all that kind of stuff, you're constantly always having to be online, lack like a social life and everything. So that becomes your life. You don't interact with people, all that kind of shit, right? Uh, you know, so this is you removing that kind of shit. Also Capricorn vibe here. The five of cups reverse, you're no longer feeling like a crybaby bitch, which I'm very happy for you. Congratulations. You're like, I'm tired of feeling sorry for myself and I'm going to dump this shit, right? Once you dump that shit, you're like, you know what? I feel a shit ton better. And with the hermit card reverse, you found your answers. And now um, I'm seeing some Aquarius here, uh, Virgo here. You're ready to move 
forward. You're ready to put yourself out there. You're ready to um, no longer be single. Okay. Now, Leo, I've got the King of Pentacles. I've got the Five of Swords reversed, and I've got the Fourth of Swords here. So we got strong air signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this is about you standing your ground and control. You are in control financial wise. You have a good secure job. Things are going well, millhouse for you and that. Like on paper, like on social media, things are looking great in your life, right? Five of swords reverse. You're getting over some resentment. As you've grown older and you've seen things and time has passed, you've seen things in a diff, like in a different angle. You know, you may be realizing some things that you may have done is wrong. Wanting to clear the air. You know, you're like, hmm, you know, maybe, maybe I was wrong in this situation because this is reverse. This is like losing, right? This is you like losing you were the loser in this situation right you were in wrong now you may have good intentions you may be having less fathers no best mentality you know this requires you to take a break somebody could have may have said something to you or did something to you where you're like i am gassed and appalled and it just makes you want to just like avoid them so you're relaxing maybe going on vacation you're planning your vacation because spring break is coming soon you may be dealing with an injury as well. Okay. Alrighty then. So I've got for my Sagittarius, I've got the Ace of Cups reverse, I've got the Queen of Swords reverse, and I've got the Ten of Pentacles here. Now for some of you, I'm seeing it's an unrequited love with the Gemini, with the Libra. I'm also seeing a Virgo and Taurus as well. Also Cancer as well. This is feeling like a loser. This is unable to move forward, move out. Like the universe, you know, there's like the universe is really trying to speak to you, you know, and it's trying to gain your attention. It's trying to awaken the beast inside you in order for you to jump into another direction because you are very fucking stagnant and you are very comfortable being Dante Hicks. And baby, you need to get out of your fucking shell right so there's no love no creativity this could be with work this could be passion this could be life itself this does not have to be romantic for some of you this is unrequited love where there is somebody is blocking you you know they have no tired time for your shit you could be having no time for somebody's shit right because this is the ultimate goal is that you want this happiness you want this union some of you are finally getting In order for you to attain this, you need to cut this person out, right? So, okay. Alrighty then. So I'm going to go ahead and do a general collective reading. I thought I was going to be here hella late, and I realized that I was not, so that's super cool. It's very weird. It's a ghost town, but I figured it's Instagram being... A jerk off because Instagram does not know how to do shit. It's always bugs. There's always trying to figure shit out, right? So it's like nobody knows. It's a ghost town. But that's fine. It kind of, um, I'm less distracted and I'm able to um, give, I think, a little bit more better in depth readings. So this is a general collective reading. So um, thank you for everybody that said, you know, really nice things when I was a uh, off uh posting for like a week you know i'm not feeling a hundred but you know i love you guys and i like helping people Bottom of the 
deck I have, it is the Nine of Swords here. Gemini vibe, fucking of course. Having a lot of sleepless nights, having a hard time. I know with this new moon coming up shortly, it's just been leaving you feeling a little bit foggy. Not sure really what you want to do. Not sure with yourself. This is all in your head, okay? A lot of anxiety and stress, this is all in your head. This could be pertaining to someone that you're dating. This could be pertaining to trying to um, move forward on something that you're trying to launch. Okay. So let's go ahead and dive into this deeper. So the bottom of the deck I have, it is the Eight of Swords here. So this is fucking perfect, of course. Goddamn Gemini vibe. This is somebody going fucking crazy, of course. I'm seeing here with the Eight here of Swords as a Libra, because of course they can't make the, their motherfucking decision, right? Full on air sign. Just a lot of stress. There's a lot of pressure. And you're afraid to make any move because you're afraid that you're going to fuck up right so okay now this could be okay so first i've got the king of wands here i've got the page of wands and i've got the lovers card here so strong gemini vibe of course and we also got aries leo sagittarius up in this bitch so somebody is a fucking liar a manipulator fucking gaslights you, right? This person tries to pretend like their husband material. This person is fucking cheating on you. This person's a goddamn player. They like text other women. They go on dating. Like they go on fucking grinder or tender or whatever. And like they send their dicks anonymously to like solicited to other people. That kind of bullshit. Some of you are just worried about like your partner is cheating on you. They are. So this is going to be ending of a relationship. This is a choice that's going to be made. Ending of a marriage, ending of a union. You could be dealing with somebody that's just, you're dealing with somebody that's a man child. Somebody that's an emotional cripple. Like they're like in their 30s, in their 40s, 50s, whatever. And they're acting like they're a fucking kid. And it's like, motherfucker, I'm not your goddamn mom. Do you have your shit together? Can you be an adult for once? Right? So it's like, I'm looking for love, and clearly you are not that fucking material. Bye-bye. So now we got here, we got the Empress card reverse. We got the Queen of Wands. So we got a matching pair, matchy-matchy. We got the Sun card here, and we got the King of Pentacles here, which is great. So first of all, we got two Kings up on this bitch, right? So this is about power. So this is dealing with one piece of shit motherfucker, which is your previous partner, right? That one asshole. And then you're gonna be encountering another person, right? So this is you not feeling your game. This is you not feeling good about yourself. Then wonder why you don't wanna move forward. You just have so much pressure in your head thinking like you're not attractive, you're never, you're not worthy of love, you know, hello! I'm almost done. I am doing the, uh, I am doing the, uh, general collective now. So, and I only have a few minutes left. So I, Instagram is just being a dick. So I figured, so anyways, you can watch back to see your readings. All the readings were pretty fucking cool. Okay. So, <laughs> so you're not feeling good. You're not feeling a hundred, um, you know, you're, you're just kind of feeling frumpy. You feel like you're in a rut, really. 
And like, once you get your hair done, once you know you get a makeover, once you do all that kind of shit, men do this shit too. Like once you just kind of clean yourself up, go to the gym, do whatever you gotta do, and do whatever you gotta do in order for you to glam up your shit, right? Then you're gonna become this bitch. Then you're gonna attract this bitch, right? With the queen of wands here. So then you come from none being, being unsure of yourself to being the hottest bad bitch where people want to be you, people want to fuck you, people be mirroring you, right? You are going to be happy. This is Aries Leo Sagittarius vibe. You're going to be so fucking happy. Everything is going to be so goddamn well. Like, you just, like, everything is, like, your personal life, um, your work life, your, uh, everything. Everything is going to be so fucking good, and you're just, like, you're just radiating that. And this is whom you're going to be attracting. This could be you as well. The king of pentacles here. Securing a really good job. You could be meeting an individual that is... Um, this could be a homosexual relationship too. It doesn't matter. Sexuality is fluid. I really don't fucking care. But you do want partnership with this individual. This individual is going to want a partnership with you. This person is stable. And it's going to be kind of good because... With fire and air, they can kind of balance each other out, you know? You know, you can ruffle this person's feathers a little bit, and you can light a fire under their ass, you know? So it's, and they can, you know, calm you down too when you need to be calm. So, um, this is a really beautiful reading. So, let me try to see if I can squeeze in and oracle really really quick because in like two to three minutes it's going to cut me out so i'm going to go ahead and do affirmation deck wish to see in your life. Your confidence is like a raven. Let it soar. The unusual is really misunderstood, uh, but that makes it no less wondrous. Believe in your magic and it will believe in you. Be particular to be is to be remembered. Your curiosity and capability knows no bounds. And finally, it is a great mistake to underestimate yourself. Alrighty then. Thank you so much. It has given me like a minute and a half before it cuts off. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Amazing balls. And um, yes, um, I will be seeing you guys soon. Love you.